Hi folks, got our James here, the man with the mullet. Another day's fishing. I want to talk to you today about something pretty exciting and that is a complete rethink and change to our leaders for Brim. Those people that uh, follow the stuff that we do, whether it be uh, on social or Brim Obsessions or any other forum, would probably know that I jumped off the fluoro train a very, very long time ago. And there was a lot of analysis done with that, a lot of trial and error. And we ended up finding copolymer, which is a f f fantastic material. And uh, copolymer regularly offers 50 to 100% more strength for the same diameter. But in going from uh, fluoro, and we're not counting fluoro, fluoro's caught loads and loads of fish for you know, hundreds of thousands of anglers, but it is relatively thick and weak for its diameter. And copolymer took care of that situation. Same diameters, but far stronger lines. But within that process was the thought, is it in fact the material? Or is it in fact diameter that is gonna rock the world of uh, very tentative uh, black brim down south? So we've been out there and we've been trialing a new material. Um, trolling material that people have been saying simply can't work. You can't do it. Um, if you're using braided lines, you must use a leader. Well, we are using a leader with our braided lines. We're using a braided leader, a zero uh, PE, 0 0.3, uh, nine hundredths of a mil at around 7.5 to eight pound. So as a comparison, a, a very good fluoro, two pound, about 0.125, so 400% stronger and change with diameter, significant. Uh, so we started out not very long ago, um, and at that point we were trialling it alongside copolymer. 20 minutes copolymer, 20 minutes on the camo braid that we're using. Um, as I said, it's 0.9, so that's actually thinner than a thick strand of human hair. Um, after three trips, uh, I've just stopped using copolymer and it's a material that I've banged on about for a long time. I love copolymer. But these incredibly skinny braided leaders are unbelievable. So far, unbelievable. Three different waters. Uh, we've put together a little video pack for you with five fish that are plus 40. Uh, a couple of good ones in there. At this point, we're not saying that it's better or we're not saying that it's anything. We're saying that we're using it. We're saying that it's catching fish on very tough days. And we're asking you to consider the benefits of a leader probably thinner than any of us have ever used before. That's hundreds of percent times stronger. It doesn't seem to affect takes and it catches fish. Yes, there's some new knots to learn. Um, and with anything new, I guess you've got to spend some time on it, learn how to fish it and have a bit of a play with it. But at this point, we're very excited in, in what we've been able to find and uh, enjoy the video to follow. Great avoiders are killing it for us. To give you a rundown on the advantages here, this is a uh, PE 0 0.3 as we mentioned, that is 0 0.09 of a mil, thinner than thick hair, a two pound, a very very good two pound fluorocarbon, you're looking at about 0 0.125, this is 0 0.09 and it's 7.5 pounds, so you're looking at 350% stronger, 33 or about 35% thinner. So, if we want to make an analogy there, a ballpark figure between strength and diameter, I'm calling this an advantage of about 400% of 
on the flare rod. And the fact that it catches fish, no problems at all, is uh, one of the most exciting things I've uh, ever done in fishing. So last trip, we did a lot of talking about this stuff. Nothing's changed this trip. First cast. We're roguing over the other side of this system. An hour over there without a bite. Over this side, first cast for a good solid starter. And in gin clear water, diameter is a factor. We know a lot about how fish can see in colour, but we know a lot about science in regards to fluoro and um, water dynamics. What we don't know a lot about is how good of a conduit water is for sight. And the reason we've come down to Braid is because the chances that you get to a certain diameter and it's just too thin to be a factor for fish seems to absolutely be the real deal. And we're slaying fish on PE leaders at the moment. We've got another rod rigged up here. Where are we? Just right behind me there. With um, a 015 copolymer leader. So that's your sort of generic three pound uh, fluoro. And we are waxing. We're using both of them to find out if one's better or if they're the same. I mean, the same would be an enormous advantage going to PE if it was the same. Last trip was um, 10 on PE, one on regulation later. And this trip was started off straight away with a nice fish early this chilly morning. At the Brimbite. Got him. <laughs> oh, tell you what, this, that's a good way this time. <laughs> it's a nice fish. <laughs> really, really considerable weight here. I'm going to stand up here and try and get this guy up to the surface. We don't want him snagging us, and there's a lot of snags here. I'm absolutely going as hard as possible on this thing. Oh, he's a cracker. Brutalise that. That's seven point five pound. Two liter at zero point zero nine. Real there is a emeraldus from Dyla. Pro little paddle grub as usual. Take my old man's glasses off. It's a nice fish. He's oh, that's a massive handful. Oh, look how small and bitten off his tail is. We're going to get ripped off of probably a 46 or a 47 there. And he's probably only going to come in at 43, 44. But that's a splendid animal. Pro little paddle grub hanging out of his gob. Live hook up. I'm very happy with that. That is a very fine animal. We'll get him on the mat and we'll be back. How you going, old son? <laughs> <laughs> the old man and the PE leaders. <laughs> Shot up against the mat. Get straight. right on the tip of 44. So we were pretty close there, it's certainly. Oh. 
two centimetres going on the lower lobe, at least one centimetre going on the top lobe. But uh, lovely fish, we'll get him straight in the live well. Fantastic. It's coming back for the release of this cracking chunk, ladies and gentlemen. Out there past 44, with a completely chewed off tail, so something very close to a 46 in real terms. Lovely, lovely animal. See you later, old son. Off he goes. One of the great advantages of length, we were able to put that the best part of 50 metres towards the other side. Work the drop zone really, really thoroughly because there's a lot of weed here. So once you start moving a bottom grub, you're going to foul up. But you can move the grub, fart around with it, spend a lot of time with it on the drop within that sort of initial two, two feet to a metre. And uh, the rewards will come. It's a bit, be a bit better this one. I just wake up. That's what cold water does to bring lead up. Yes, I know we've been talking about it. 0 0.09 PE. Braid leaders, ladies and gentlemen. See nuts in a strand of hair. There'll be plenty of people know my thoughts on leaders. I moved away from fluoro, went to copolymer, because copolymer is so much stronger for diameter. But when you do that, you start to think, is it the material or is it just diameter? Well, going down to 0 0.09 of a mil. This one's uh, quite respectable. Oh, that's awesome. up. Tight. I still think she's swimming. Oh. Hey. There we go. Have a look at him with those glasses. Off. He's all right. I certainly get 42 out of that. Might get a photo of that guy. It's just about uh, time to go home. Mm. 41 and a half. Well, met him anyway. But there's just more proof in the pudding, ladies and gentlemen. There's that skinny leader, if you can see it. Thinner than a six strand of hair. 0 0.09 in a camo braid. Braid, leaders, skinny ones. Destroy Brim. End of story. Welcome to a new world. Nice fish. And braided leaders again, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting stuff. Don't worry about your fluoro. And if you're on copolymer, well, you're on great leader. 50 to 100 percent better in comparative terms for strength and diameters. But if you want to get really serious, go down to skinny PE. This is absolutely crystal clear. Couldn't be more demanding. The water's cold. And uh, second fish in maybe six casts on the Pro Lure SK sinking pencils. Nice head shakes here. I don't think he's huge, but certainly respectable. He's doing a bit too much, I think. He's probably face planted. But I haven't seen him. He could be hooked in the mouth and he could be a, a really good fish. I'm towing him in sideways. Still a nice fish. Oh yeah, we're going to take that. <coughs> that is a fine animal with my old man's glasses on. A big handful. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hulking fat thing. No face plant there. 
He's just uh, fought hard because he's a very, very fine animal. 0.3e, camo braid. You can see it there. It's thinner than a thick strand of hair. All the stuff we've heard uh, spoken about leaders. I mean, it's been one of the great discussions in brim fishing since Adam was a boy. Well, the discussion just changed and we've changed it. Fantastic. Get this guy on the mat. And he's tipped to 43. He's coming back for the release, ladies and gentlemen. Fine animal. He'll be off like a shot, old son. There he goes. He'll probably come back between my legs here. No water that way, champion. I oh, check him out with his dorsal out. Isn't that cool? Oh, he's underneath my legs. I wouldn't be surprised if I haven't got a brim on at this point. Very odd. I can't say a bloody thing in this um in this um glare i can tell you how many flathead i've caught in those micros and i could count them on one hand so i'm not that keen on calling it but it's got to be doesn't it just has to be braid again 0 0.3 crystal clear water oh it is a flathead it's okay too yeah, he's going to be very, very lucky to get his freedom. He looks uh, big enough to feed myself and the lovely Mrs. O. Jones very nicely. <coughs> Just rack up another, not that flathead a uh, known for, that's a blue spot. Haven't caught one this far south. But don't go fishing down south very often either. Quite a respectable animal in that kilo range, a bit more. Always heavy, blue spot, they're a very thick, a very thick lizard. Doesn't want to get his head up much. There we go. Well, that's right across the bottom of the baronet. He's um, certainly going 50. A bit more. Oh, way up the top of the river. It's almost fresh up here. This is got fish is going all right. Uh, take it to him a bit here. We're all oysters. It's a mess. And quite a reasonable animal. Uh, uh, uh. Haven't seen a resident for a long time. Getting this guy on the mat, ladies and gentlemen. You head up there, I'll suck. 40 to the mill. There's a camera in the right place. Uh, 40 to the mill, back in the live well. Salmon on a worm. On a plastic worm. Uh, not a bad size for a micro salmon. Just another another species up to PO liters. Not that they mean anything. I mean they'd eat shit on a stick, but you still gotta tick them off.
Feels pretty good. Nice weight, really nice weight. Hopefully this is the one we're after. We need uh, one more significant fish, so you know, over 42 to um, get our video out. So that's five, you know, really good fish on PE liters, 0.3. This guy's gonna be in the mix. Glassed out conditions, unbelievably clear. Really, really tough, falling barometers. And um, Prolure's SK, 62, with that emerald eye. Keeps getting it done. Get my foot out of this mud. I might be able to get this done. So I cast nine six at two to four. Come on, old son. Be over forty and be over forty by a bit for me. Sterling fight. No wonder PE is just smoking these blacks. See you later, old son. Off he goes. I think this is just a big, uh, a bigger yellow light sea runner. Yeah. We're not wasting camera on that. SK pencils kill these as well as uh, the plastics do. That is very encouraging. It's a big fish. <sighs> Cracking run. I know we keep on saying it, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting some great head shakes here. I know we keep on saying it, but uh, leader, PE 0 0.3. at uh, 0 0.09, nine hundredths of a mil. And we've got seven and a half pound of, of strength. These are unprecedented tolerances in regards to other materials. And the advantages seem very real. This is a really tough day. New water, I don't know it. Um, Glass out, falling barometer, badly falling barometer. I've got the power here to go a lot harder on this fish, but we're still figuring out our knots. These, these are big head shakes. We're still figuring out our knots with braids, so it's not doing anything silly until we you know, sort those types of things out. Might be a face plant. But, uh, I mean, it's good fish, but I was hoping for a plus 45 on that run, and it doesn't appear to be that. Always nice to break the ice on a new water. So I customs nine sixes at two to four, just. You can see the head lunges there, absorbing everything. Oh no, he's better than I thought. That's Pro Lure SK62, sinking pencil. This is a nice fish, a very nice fish. Can't even see the lure. We'll take you off, son. The old man's glasses off. We, uh, that's pushing out. 44, 45. Very, very happy with that. And Prolo SK pencil, 62. I don't know what that one's called. It might be the Tiger Prawn. It's a sort of ready maroon one with the um, aluminous green eyes. And this thing is an absolute winner when you learn how to fish it. That's a very, very nice way to start the day. That is 
well over three pound, might hit three and a half. I haven't seen condition like this on the east coast for a while. We're very happy with that. I sorted on the mat, ladies and gentlemen. Tipping out at right to the tip, 46. Get him straight in the live well. Way over three pound. It's a cracking animal. And there's the Prelure SK62 there. You don't think these things are a winner. Do yourself a favour. These are a very, very serious brimmer. Just bringing this lovely fish um, at 46 centimetres for release, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Lovely animal. Leader, once again, PE at 0 0.3. 0 0.09, nine hundredths of a mil at seven and a half, eight pound. There's an advantage you're gonna to wanna to buy. I'm Scott O. Jones. That's the weight that uh, over three and a half pound of brim leaves. A bloody terrible thing to look at, that is. Just terrible. I'm having a bad day. <laughs>